All right, guys, we are back here for the third moto, another 20-lap moto. That last moto was absolutely insane. I still cannot believe it. Crazy, crazy moto. Uh, one of the best I've ever watched in World of Outlaw. Just the way Luke went from fourth to first with two laps to go was kind of crazy. And I thought Turkey was going to get that second moto win, which would be, would be huge for the overall. But he just went a little too wide, and Luke saw like the small opportunity, and he got it. So it was just really exciting moto. And even before that, just plenty of four-wide racing and battles. Like That was just a great race. So here we go, guys. Here we're going to watch the... Ah, uh... oh, Papa, come on, brah. Oh, that's right. Papa's taking his meds. Say to stop a little bit for him here. Now he's good. And we're going to watch this moto right here. And this is a uh, 20 lapper again. And we're about to go green. Can't wait for that last moto to come out. And we're going green. And Luke, instead of going to the outside, tries to go to the middle. Jared was the one this time that decided to go outside. A little unexpected, but he gets too high. He's not really going to make any runs. Luke comes out of nowhere to cross over Turkey right there. And he is moving his way up the pack. Takedown and Ponage with the battle there for first. Trying to watch it here. Ponage is going to take over that first place position right there. Luke's already up to second. Started in last. And looks like he's going to be going for the lead here. Turkey also very fast. I think Luke and Turkey undoubtedly are the fastest people here. They have consistently been the fastest people here throughout these motos. I, I think they're the best drivers here, at least in this field. I mean, think about it. Luke got one moto win. Turkey's got moto. Well, they both have the moto wins, and Turkey almost had two. So, I don't know. I think they're the fastest drivers here. Papa's also very fast. Very fast, but he just can't seem to string that run together at the end. Although, he, I would put him in that group of elites here, too, because he is very fast here. He just can never seem to get that big run he needs at the end. He almost did it, Reeseville. Oh, that was almost his first moto win of the year. Felt bad for him. Oh, Luke's getting really... Oh! Okay, this is one of the most exciting crossovers I've ever seen. Luke running the high side. Bonus is going to come up here and tap him. So Luke's going to tap those walls. And then here he goes, dives down to the guardrail. And Ponis slides up, and that is just a crazy crossover. And Luke's trying to leak out high again, but he could not get by Ponis. He was trying to get high. You see, look on his... That sounds funny. See, on his screen, he's clear, and he's trying to get up high. That's where he's trying to go, and he just can't get it going. And Ponage ends up wrecking because of it. Luke was trying to go up high, but Ponage, you know, uh, that invisible lag barrier just sort of screwed him right there. So we're going to have a restart. And that just happens in Halo, you know. Stuff like that just happens in Halo. Already about almost halfway through this moto, and we're going to have another green... Uh, I almost said green white jacket. We're going to have another yellow flag restart. Here we go, green, green, green. Oh, I think we're, that's going to be redone. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> forgot about this. this. is hilarious. Ponage clearly jumps the start. We'll watch it just to show you. He clearly jumps the start. And this is a rule that I'm going to make an announcement about um, at next Chili Bowl, next World of Outlaw Race. But you can tell he clearly jumps the start. I absolutely despise when people do that. So you can see, and Papa hates it too. Me and him are probably the most vocal people about hating people that jump restarts. So you see me and him both go up and try to wreck them, and we end up both going in the wall. This is funny, because we're by far the most vocal people that tell people not to jump restarts. We both absolutely hate it with a passion. So every time somebody jumps a restart, you'll see either me or him try to wreck that person. It's a guaranteed thing that will happen. You'll see me or him go for him. Here we go, guys. We're about to go green about 11 laps through this moto. I think it ends on 81 now. Takedown. What? <laughs> Takedown. Doing a little bit of pioneering right here. He goes for the inside. Oh, my God. This is hilarious. He goes for the inside and doesn't have enough room, so he gets shoved in the grass and makes it a line. Ha, ha, ha. I have not seen that before. That's crazy. And I, he, he didn't cut the track. I mean, he just got his line taken away from him. Oh! Oh, my God. That crossover with Luke and Turkey was intense. <laughs> but he just got his line taken away from him. Oh, no! Luke in the inside wall. That's going to be a caution. About 10 laps to go in this moto. Oh, whoops. I Okay, here we go. And we're going green. Opponent's trying to make an inside move, and he's not going to be able to do it. And Scepter and Luke, let's see what they did. Oh, they were just on the inside and held it? Really? Yeah, Scepter and Luke just stayed valiant on the inside, and for whatever reason, they held the inside better than everybody else could have. 
and then Luke's gonna just barrel it down there. Papa in Turkey. Here's Papa. I told you he's fast here. He just can never seem to get that run he needs. I think his best World of Outlaw track is Reeseville. Finished second three or four times there. Like, he finished second every moto. So that sucks for him, but... And I think he's finished second every single moto he's ever raced there. But I think that's his best World of Outlaw track. Reeseville is Papa and Turkey's track. They are unprecedentedly the best there. Oh, Papa with a crazy! Oh, this is just in general a crazy crossover. Look at this. Oh, they're going to hold the outside here. You see, Papa, you can tell he's planning. He's planning on a crossover. Luke is too. And here it, here it goes into action. And then um, Luke tries to follow Papa there, but then Ponich comes out of nowhere. And Luke and Papa were not very happy with the random run Ponich had. I think they thought he was cheating, so you'll see them go up in a little bit here. Yeah, you see them both, or you see Luke go up the track and run Ponage up the track, and you see Papa do it as well. He runs up the track. They were both very frustrated with that because they were confident that he had not drifted at the right marker. And I believe we're at the white flag right here. Or no, I think we got four to go. Oh, huge move by Papa. I think we have about four to go or so. Oh, Papa's going to get stuck on the inside here, but then Ponage bogs. So Papa's going to need to go down and make a move, but he wasn't really able to do it. He just sort of stays on the outside. He's going to go for it on Turkey. I think this is the white flag here. I can't tell because the checkpoints got screwed up. Papa's going to the inside. Turkey, Luke as well. They're going after Ponage. Luke's and Papa, they're trying. No, they could not get him. They could not get him. That was it. Ponage ends up getting his, I think, third moto win of the season. And we'll watch this crazy finish here. Turkey went from second to fourth, and you see he could just not get that run to get one of those positions back. But you see Luke and Papa have a close finish, photo, photo finish here. Oh my god, that is super close, but Papa got it. And as you can see, Ponage gets first in a super, super close photo finish between Papa and Luke, but Papa definitely does get it. Um, very close photo finish between both of them, though. They both <laughs> were running side by side. They made a good effort to try to steal that moto win. That was another solid moto, and next moto, guys, is the finale of Plen Alpine. This is the biggest one. 50 laps. 50 laps at Glen Alpine Speedway. Let me just, oh, whoops, oh, 420, blaze it, all right. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, it just shows, it does not show the track name, it just shows the game type, that's unfortunate. Um, but yeah, oh, 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 I forgot to show you guys the rest results. Sorry, that would have been bad. Sorry about that. I just showed one, two, and three. Wow, that was a great finish between Papa and Luke, great battle. Oh my God, look at the battle. I didn't even show, the, look at the battle for top five. Look at this. Jared and takedown? Oh, Jared did not... Oh, wait, is that... Yup, that was white flag. Okay. So Jared is going to get 7th, because he didn't uh, drift it all right here. He's going to get 7th. But takedown and setter have a really close battle, because um, Jared literally didn't drift at all, so he's going to get 7th. He's going to get DQ'd for that. But look at takedown and setter in this photo finish. Setter just valiantly holding the outside and, you know, he holds onto the drift. If he would have let off and got that run, he might have had a shot at beating uh, Takedown. But you see the nice photo finish there. Setter's going to get, uh, Takedown's going to get that top five. Setter's going to get sixth. And um, Jared's going to get seventh because he clearly did not drift literally at all right there. And I'll see you guys in the next Moto 50 lap finale. Let's go.